Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at volumes of prisms. The first one is your rectangular prism. Now if you look you'll see that I have a real life example on the right hand side, a box of tissues. So with volume, remember that volume is equal to, the formula for volume is, volume is equal to the area of the base, area of base, times height. So the base of the box in this particular example is, I'm going to have to shade the bottom part here, and I'll say that this is our base. And the shape of this base is a rectangle. So I'm going to just draw a rectangle here. So it's a rectangle. So we're going to look at what is the formula for the rectangle. It's basically length times, you could either say length times breadth, or length times width. So I'm going to say L times B times H, or you could have L times W times H width or breadth. Okay. So the, the length here is 12 centimeters times your breadth, which is 6 centimeters times your height, which is 8 centimeters. Now we multiply these together. So we've got 12 times 6 times 8. And that gives me 576. Now, your units would be centimeter times centimeter times centimeter, which would give you centimeter cubed. So your units for volume would be centimeter cubed. All right, let's go and have a look at another example. Here we have a cube. And again, the cube. If we look at the cube, the cube, all the sides are the same. same. So the faces, each face here is the same size. They, it's a square, basically. So if the one side is 7, it means that that side would also be 7 centimeters. This side would also be 7 centimeters. We follow the same formula. So volume is equal to area of base times height. Now remember that your base here is a square. So the formula for a square is side times side. Some people say L times L. Side times side times the height, which is also the same size. So I'm going to go side times side times side. You could go L times L times L. So basically what I'm trying to say is that the formula for your cube is basically side cubed. So basically you're saying 7 times 7 times 7, or you could just say 7 centimeters cubed. Okay, so let's work that out. And we get 343 centimeters cubed. Okay, now we move on to another shape. And here we're looking at our triangular prism. And we've got a, an example on the side here. It's your Toblerone. Okay, that's the particular shape that it has. And so here we're going to look at, um, let's write this down. Volume is equal to area of base times height. Now your base here are your two triangles. So if you look here, that is your triangle, and that is your triangle. So th those are your two triangles here. Okay, so you can't see that part, but it's basically that's your triangle. And this part, the distance between the bases, that is going to be your height. So the formula, so your base is your triangle. Remember that your formula for triangle is half base times perpendicular height times the height, which is the distance between. So this is the distance here, that distance there between the two, in, which is in this case is 20 centimeters, right? So we're going to go half base of the triangle, which is 16 centimeters, times the height of the triangle, which is 5 centimeters, times the distance between the two triangles, which is 20, okay? So let's work that out. So we have eight, a half of 16 times 5 
times 20, which gives me 800 centimeters cubed. Remember, it's centimeter times centimeter times centimeter, centimeter cubed. Okay, let's have a look at the cylinder. Same formula, volume, and we have a, an example on the right hand side. It's a tin of strawberry jam. Okay, so volume is equal to area of base times height. Okay, so your base here is a circle, basically. Okay, and the formula for circle is pi r squared. Pi times radius squared times your height. So you're going to go pi times the radius, which is 3 squared, times the height, which is 14. Okay, let's work that out. And we end up with 126 pi, okay, which would give you 395, 395 point or comma 840, which would give you comma 84 centimeters cubed. I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe and follow me in my next video.